so I'm Asus. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I just wanted to share with you a miracle that happened today. And basically it's just how I live my life and it's amazing. So stay tuned, hear my story, and um, if it resonates with you, then that's amazing. And if not, then that's okay. But I hope it does. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay. So when my mom called me, she said, I don't want you to freak out. Everything's okay. But, and she told me the story. She told me what was going on. And she said, Isis, I really need you to pray for us. I need you to pray for him. And... So I did. I said, okay, um, when I hang up, I'll pull over, and I just started praying. So um, I just kind of wanted to share this story with you just because I think that God really did move in my life. I felt so... I felt His presence. I felt my grandmother's presence. I felt healing. I felt peace. And in a situation that is so hard to get through, you can't get through it alone. And to have God, the name above all names that's greater than sickness, to help you and to help whoever's in need is a miracle. And that's what I prayed for and that's what I got. Okay, so as soon as I pulled over, I set the intention to just connect, to connect once I once you get baptized you get you have the Holy Spirit that's within you which is God's spirit and your connection to him so I just set the intention to connect with him and to just talk to him and ask for help and I just had my hands out like this and it was very spiritual closed my eyes and I asked God I said God and I thanked him for my dad. I thanked him for bringing him into my life. He wasn't my original dad. Um, he adopted me. And so just seeing the way that he's impacted my life and the way he impacts other lives, I just wanted to state of how great of a human being he is and how he's helped this planet. And he is also a man of God. And so I just thanked him. And from there, I asked for healing. And I put the emphasis on how great God is, how great he is, and how he's bigger than any disease, any sickness, and that he is has the power to heal and to perform miracles. And so I kind of just created this prayer and was talking and, and declaring. And I said, in Jesus' name, well, I said, and I declare this in, in your powerful name, God. And I, I trusted him. And then from there, I went on a hike with some friends. And then I started to feel a little bit sad. And so um, a little bit anxious. And um, I started praying for peace. I serve on the photography team. So I reached out to them and asked if they could please pray for my dad. I told them what was going on. They prayed for the doctors and knowledge um, that they're able to heal him and to have clarity over what's going on and they prayed for peace over my family and asked my friend and she said she was going to pray like every so often and I was very thankful for that and um, a few hours passed. I used to be in manifestation and so I know how to manifest. Um, that has its pros and cons because you can manifest something that isn't good for you but with prayer and having God in the middle of that situation, A, is going to work better. B, it's just healthier because it puts you on the path that he wants you to be on. Because it's the life that he's designed for you. Which, if he's designed your life, it's not going to be something so crazy. It's going to be, you know, he puts a desire in your heart. So it's already what you want. Um, so you don't have to be afraid about it. But um, if anything... He knows your heart better than you do. So he's going to give you like something magnificent. Something that you have never even dreamed of. So yeah. I visualized my dad having the procedure. And I visualized God's presence. And just kind of embodying the doctor. 
um, and kind of like performing the surgery. And then I got the vision of my grandmother in there and then I just like everything was just going really well and then I kind of woke up from that vision and and thanked God and and sent that away and continued to have peace and then I looked up the procedure he was having and um, there's two ways that the procedure can be done one is in like the private area and the other is in the wrist somewhere um, and so I prayed that I also like visualized the incision being here on his wrist which just would provide more comfort and I prayed and I asked God and it's crazy because just hearing the doctor say like okay we're like because there's a, there's just a, a different chance you never know you know because with the procedure in here it can get tangled and so they have to you know go the other route but it was just so amazing to see God move and to answer my prayers. I'm telling you, try it. Like, try it. Put your faith in God. You will be amazed and see life in a completely different perspective, which is light and beautiful and filled with love. God is just so good, and when you have Him on your side, you can do anything because He's who strengthens you. So... I hope that this story has touched you in some way. And um, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.